Hey guys, nothingwire.com and Motorola today announced three products for India: the Moto, the new Moto G, the new Moto X, and the Moto 360 smartwatch. Now, Moto E, uh, there was no new version of the Moto E. Know that uh, this uh, we've got is the new Moto G, the second generation one. Now, it does not change much from the first generation of Moto G, but uh, effectively you get a bigger display. Now, so now the Moto G has a 5-inch display as opposed to the 4.5-inch display of the first generation. Um, the resolution stays the same, so you have uh, the HD resolution um, that's um, 720 by 1280 pixels. You see, uh, it also has that IPS screen. It's, it's very cool, and despite of having low resolution, actually the screen looks quite sharp and bright. I'm going to show you the screen just in a bit. Uh, before that, you can see the front camera, the, uh, the speakers, the dual speakers out here. Nothing much on this side. Um, below you have the micro USB 2.0 port. The volume rocker, the power button, the 3.5mm jack and um, uh, secondary noise cancelling mic. Then you have the 5MP uh, camera accompanied by an LED flash and the Motorola branding. So uh, even spec wise does not change much. It's powered by the same Snapdragon 400 chipset and also has that um, 1GB RAM. Now uh, you you might have uh, different storages available but this one's 16GB uh, out here. Supports uh, micro SD card now. I'm just assuming you can open the back flap, yes you can. So once you open the back flap out here, yeah. uh, of course like uh, the original Motorola, you cannot remove the battery out here, however you can use dual SIM plus your micro SD card uh, out here. We don't know the higher limit the micro SD card can support, but at least that should be uh, 32 or um, even better 64 GB. Now uh, let's quickly go ahead and show you the interface. The new Moto G is powered by the latest Android KitKat version and it's stock. So there is no customization from Motorola just like the original Moto G which is very very good and very welcome. So you have a very familiar uh, UI elements really like this notification bar, this one and then you have your Google now and once you go inside you'll have you know pretty much the same stock Google um, experience long press uh, notification here quick function toggle bar and then you can go to your main app drawer again not uh, not bloat no bloatware at all not many extra app, not many third-party apps you have the stock uh, Google Android apps and pretty much some of the uh, Motorola's in-house apps they are uh, very very useful like your Moto Alert and Moto Assist you also uh, should have a Motorola migrate whenever you get your phone uh, either it would be preloaded or you would get it as an update so straight away go to the settings and say pretty much same stock settings that you can experience about phone they see the latest one 4.4.4 a lot of uh, manufacturers yet to update to 4.4.4 they're stuck at 4.4.2 but this guy comes with 4.4.2 so they are 4.4.4 so that's cool so you have the 5 mp camera okay. You can tap anywhere to click a photo just like the original uh, Motorola so I'm not going to go too deep into uh, the use of the user interface just like before it's absolutely fluent absolutely uh, seamless experience there's no lag whatsoever at any point uh, so um, the Moto G uh, is significantly larger than the first generation of Moto G in fact it's slightly larger uh, even than the bigger screen new Moto X now new Moto X has a 5.2 inch screen this guy's a 5 inch screen but this actually looks slightly larger mainly because of this uh, huge bezels on top and the bottom so that's uh, the new Moto G guys it's gonna be available from midnight today exclusively on flipkart.com for 1000 less than the first generation of Moto G that's 12 triple nine um, in